have a more serious topic mm. uh, to discuss, which is Holly has decided to quit this morning. Yeah. Now, you've, um, you launched this morning, mm. along with Judy, of course, and she paid tribute to you and Judy in her farewell statement and said it's, you know, the important thing about this morning is it is owned by the viewers. Mm. It doesn't matter who presents it. <laughs> mm. It does matter who presents it, doesn't it? And, well, it's, and it is a, it's a huge shame that Holly feels that she's had to leave the programme. Well, yeah, that, OK, that begs a, a few answers, really. Firstly, um, I think, and, and, and Judy agrees with me, we were talking about this when we heard the news yesterday afternoon, that Holly's done a very brave and wise and courageous thing. Mm. Um, I mean, we know here in the building, I mean, because the, the morning studio is just a few yards away through the bricks, we know that Holly genuinely puts family first, yes. as you do. Yes. She puts her family first and her career second, and that really is the order. Now, people watching don't know that. They just see the, the, Holly the professional, but she does put it first. And that she's done the show for 14 years, which is a year longer than Judy and I did it when we left, mm. you know. I think it's given her a chance to sort of step, to step back and mm. take stock. And she's, she's put her family first. She's, she's going to focus on them for a while. She'll come back, not mm. to this morning, but she'll come back to do something else on telly. But I think she's, I think she's done exactly the right thing yeah. for her own mental health, apart from anything else. I completely understand that. And what does she do now you know i mean the, you know she's an iconic hugely successful massively popular mm. individual presenting a massive program always on the front pages of the magazines mm. you've been in that situation judy's been in that situation mm. what is it like when you take a step back well, to come back to, to, to your opening question about uh, the, the, the programme being owned by the viewers and not, not by you, I, I, I stand by that. Um, in fact, that's what I said to Holly last week. I was, on, I was on this morning talking to her on the 35th anniversary of the launch, virtually to the hour that we weren't on air. And I do remember that that was one of the first things that Judy and I said on the very first this morning, on October the 3rd, 1988. We said, down the lens of the camera, this is your show, it's not ours. Mm. And when we left, and it was a bit of a shock when we left, it was all a bit undercover and subterfuge, and we mm. just appeared on Channel 4, a lot of people said, well, that's the end of this morning, because this morning is Richard and Judy, which was obviously very flattering, but we knew it wasn't true, because the show isn't about the faces that present it, it's about the format. It's a two-and-a-half-hour, three-hour formatted show, and obviously the presenters have to know what they're doing, and they have to get on, and they have to do a professional job, but it's the content, it's the format that, that matters. Mm. And, uh, you know, ergo, there it is, and it will, it'll carry on. And how about how she will be um, feeling, because... Um, for you personally, mm. for you and Judy, was it something that you that you mourned? Did you feel a, a loss? Will she be feeling uh, that that link with the viewers, which is so deep over so many yeah. years, is is the breaking of that something very painful to deal with? It's a, it's a really good question, and I think really only she could answer it. But all all I can but say, you have from, been through. Yeah, it. And, and from our perspective, this was a, a phrase that Judy and I used throughout our TV careers together, even before this morning when we were presenting on the nightly news show on Granada Television, Granada Report, um, and we said it a lot when when we left this morning. It's only telly. It is only telly. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's not a calling. Um, you know, you're, you're not walking out of the monastery having devoted the last 30 years of your life to God. It's just telly. It's just <laughs> that thing in the corner. Mm. And I think if we're not careful, those of us who work in television, we can take it a bit too seriously. Of, of course, course, but 40, take it professionally. 14 but... years. Pardon? 14 years. A very... I mean, yeah. you are in people's homes, in their kitchens every day. You become, you know... A... A friend, you know what it's like when you meet people in the street and they oh, know you yeah. so it's much better than yeah. you could believe. Yeah, it's, and, and that's a great privilege, but I don't think that will fade. I mean, people aren't going to stop recognising Holly when she goes to the shops, you know, no. anytime soon. Well, and also, and Kevin Ligo said she still remains an important part of the ITV oh, family. She back. hasn't left television altogether. No. no, no, she'll be back. Yeah, no question about it. Absolutely. That. And we send her all our very best. We do. Um, we, do. we really do. So, uh, good luck, Holly. You know, you're going to... Whatever you do next, massive yeah, success. Yeah. And to the family, Richard, too. Thank you. thank you. Yeah, lots of love to your family, too.